Hi guys, Dad's here from Review, and warning, this isn't actually an Android Wear review um, this evening. This is actually an Android review, and it's a, it's a launcher review. And the only reason I'm reviewing it uh, is I downloaded this earlier today, and it's brilliant. And it's a new launcher, and it's from, actually, Nokia, and it's called Zed Launcher. It's currently in beta, and there's been three releases so far. But actually, the more I've used this throughout the day, the more I've realized this is a perfect, almost, it's a fantastic launcher, and I think you should go and download it. And so let's take a look at the uh, finer points to it. And so at the top here, we have a sort of panel with three widgets. So the widgets are actually just isolated on this top area. This bit here in the middle actually is kind of dynamic and you can't change what happens here. And then at the bottom, we've got a small dock and you can choose what icons go in there, but it comes set up pretty much like this. Cool, Hangouts, uh, your browser and your camera, and that's perfect. And of course, we've got the little applications button in the middle. And so back to the top. Um, so we've got the top, we've got a clock at here, over here with the calendar. Um, and if we move it across, you can see we've got calendar entries here, and then we've got weather, so pretty good. And at the moment, that's all we've got, but I imagine this will be pretty customizable. And you just hit that, and it will update. And the same goes for these, and that'll take you through to your calendar. In the middle here, um, as I say, this is a dynamic area, and actually this gets populated by uh, what you search for and what you use, so it learns over time. Um, and so you can see, here's some of the things that I've been uh, searching for and using over the last well, few hours, I suppose, since I got the application. Um, now where this app and where this launcher ch totally excels is the way in which you, you search for apps. So the usual way would be just to hit that button there and then we browse through. And even this is actually quite pleasant. It's quite an, a nice um, app launcher effectively. And then at the top here you can see we've got a quick link to the app store and to settings and that'll take you straight through. However, if I just go back, the coolest part about this is actually just on this area here, you just type what you're looking for. And so you can see I typed for Z, and we got um, we've got a contact I put in for this review here. So you can see that's there. We've got um, some applications. We've got another contact. We've even got some emails, and we've even got some web page searches or um, bookmarks. And so you see it's actually aggregated um, mixed media and contacts and apps, etc., and put them um, in this kind of quick search. And you can narrow this down even further. So I can add another letter, so Z E. You can see it's going through all of the time. And if I was, say, searching for Zedge, you can see that that would be top of the list. And then if I launch Zedge, you'll see it will launch the application up. You see it's made its way there, simply because it's been searched for. And so there's not much more to it than that, really. So on the front page here, if there's something you don't want to see, you hold on the, uh, on, on the name, and you can hide it. And let's say there's something you want to drag into the dock. Um, you can just long press here, and then you can move it on down, and you see that will replace. Conveniently, because I've replaced that, you'll see that Chrome now moves up into the middle point as well. Now the background to this launcher actually changes colour throughout the day and there's a whole series of hues that it goes through from sort of the morning light colour to this evening dark colour that we see here. And so, um, while it's not a huge amount of customization, it's actually very, very pleasant. Um, it's just easy to use. It's, it's So far, I, I thought that the fact that I didn't have a photograph in the background as I'd be used to, or that I could fully customize the screen or add widgets would be restrictive. Like I, seemed, I thought I'd see myself removing this um, immediately. Um, but actually, no, it's, it's very elegant and Nokia's done a great job. And so I certainly hope Nokia um, continue to produce awesome apps. Um, I know they've got a tablet coming out, but it seems like this might be their forte. And so I urge you to go and check out the Z launcher right now. Um, download the beta, make sure you keep up to date, um, and follow the journey. It's a great launcher, and uh, I'm sure there'll be more apps from the Nokia camp soon. Again, sorry this isn't an Android Wear review, and if you come looking for that, don't worry, there'll be one of those later on today um, and every other day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.